Hi, this is the second episode in our TestBench 3 video tutorials. As in the first episode, we just played with the existing tests in the example project. Now we will create a brand new test with the help of the recorder tool. Using the recorder tool is no more necessary, but it's still probably the fastest way to get started, especially if you are not an experienced web driver hacker. Even if you are planning to do some more intelligent tests, it may help you to create a stop for you to start with. The first step is to install the recorder. It's a Firefox add-on and included in the package. To install it, you can just drag it over to your Firefox window. Next step is to deploy the web application that we are going to test. I'm using the same Jetty Run target as we used in the previous episode. Now that the server has launched, we can try the application in a web browser. Before actually starting the recording, it is often best to restart the application state. I'm using the infamous restart application parameter. Next step is to open the Vardin Testbench Recorder add-on. The recording process starts automatically. Now if you look at the recorder panel while I'm doing the calculation, you can see that each button click in the browser creates one row in the recorder panel. Now that the calculation is done, we can verify the value is correct. The test could be tried out directly in the recorder, but I'm just exporting it directly as a JUnit test case. I'm saving it directly to the test project, where I have already created a new tests package. Now let's get back to the Eclipse and if we refresh the project we can see that the new test pops up there. There is one small compilation error. The recorder cannot automatically determine the right package declaration but your IDE should easily fix that. Otherwise, the recorder makes a complete JUnit based test. It prepares the test bench for a web driver and uses it to simulate actions that we just recorded. As the server is still running, we can launch the test using the JUnit integration in Eclipse. The browser will pop up and the test is executed. To include the test in automatically executed set, you still might need to do some project specific tricks. In this Maven build example, you can just rename it using IT case convention. In this episode, you have learned how to use the recorder tool to make simple tests and how to add them to your project. In the next part, we'll get familiar with various selector types. They will later help you when you refactor your tests or if you decide to build them manually. Thank you for watching.